Israel's military offensive into Gaza well into its second day now as residents on both sides of the border experienced their worst case of violence in nearly four years. The highlights today thus far include a Palestinian missile that landed in southern Israel killing three people who were sitting in their apartments in the city of Kiryat Malachi. And just moments ago, another missile striking in Rishon LeZion, that's Israel's fourth largest city, and on the southern outskirts of Tel Aviv, the farthest Hamas has ever reached into Israel. Of course, this all got underway yesterday when Israel assassinated the Hamas military chief Ahmad Jabri, the guy who's in charge of their rocket program and heads all their military operations. The attack came after days of rocket attacks and Israeli threats that they would not tolerate attacks against an area that covers a million of their residents. After the assassination, Israel taking out much of the Hamas long-range missile uh, threat. That's what Israeli officials say. On the Gaza side, though, they've been firing over 200 rockets it's into Israel, suffering 15 casualties on their side. Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system knocking down about 80 of those and a great success for Israel. But still, as we can see, sirens wailing across the country very, very frequently. Now, Israel leaders saying that this is just the beginning of the operation, not the end, and everybody waiting to see if this air onslaught will be followed by a ground operation. That's what we're keeping our eyes open the next few days. Aaron Heller, the Associated Press, Jerusalem.